सो हाई फ्रेंड्स इसके बी टेक्निकल एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो एंड एक्सप्लेन अबाउट हाउ ट्रांसफॉर्म वर्क ऑन द डी सी इन एस एम पी एस सो यू ऑब्जर्व दैट लेट बिट क्वेश्चन हियर हाउ ट्रांसफॉर्म वर्क ऑन द डी सी इन एस एम पी एस एवरी वन नोज ट्रांसफॉर्मर डजेंट वर्क ऑन द डी सी दैट इज द डायरेक्ट करंट सो एवरीबडी सेज इट वर्क ऑन द ओनली ए सी देन वाई इज ओनली ऑन द ए सी What is the reason the transformer work on the AC? So here I am going to explain about the why transformer work on the DC. AC is alternating current which is have a variation in current, so it generates magnetic field when passes through the coil. So that means to work transformer just need variation in current to produce magnetic field to induce EMF in a secondary when apply input to the primary as per mutual induction. That means you just need variation in current to produce magnetic field to mutual induction so in smps that is switch mode power supply uses high frequency transformer it's work on the dc voltage then question is how in smps the transformer is work on the dc voltage how it is possible so i am going to show and explain about the make change in dc that is the sinusoidal pulse width modulation spwm then again question is how to make changes in dc so make changes in dc mean it convert into the swpm that is the sinusoidal pulse width modulation so hence the transformer equal on the ac and also swpm in dc then question is how transform work on the dc then if work on the dc then how it is possible so i am here going to explain dc to dc converter in smps so here is the block diagram of dc to dc converter and here i am going to explain the all diagram in this power source a high voltage dc power is acquired from the dc power source then this high voltage dc power is switched usually in the range of the 50 kilohertz to 50 kilohertz and then it fed it to the step down transformer unit of 50 hertz the output of the transformer is fed to the rectifier then the rectified output you get the dc and then that output dc get a sampling process where using the output sensor and here is the isolation reference error amplifier that is the feedback also the high frequency switch 15 kilohertz to 50 kilohertz the switching power by using the pwpm oscillator and also closed loop is the form so here i am going to explain that the switching power supply of output is regulated by the pulse width modulation shown in the above circuit or the diagram the switch is driven by the pwm oscillator then indirectly step down transformer is controlled when the power is fed to the transformer therefore the output is controlled by the pulse width modulation as this output voltage and pwm signal are inversely proportional to the each other and here i am also the explain if your duty cycle is 50% then the maximum power is transferred through the transformer and you get the efficient transformer and if the duty cycle drops then power in the transformer also drop by decreasing the power dissipation so here i am going to all explain about the how transformers work on the dc So here is the KB Technical Science Technology Engineering. Thanks for watching. If you like it, then subscribe it. If you don't like it, don't subscribe. But if you like it, then subscribe, like it, and share it. Thank you and bye bye.